I'd like to break it up because I think if you guys can understand the graphs, the question on the summer packet kind of makes a lot more sense. Um, so remember, here's x, here's f of x. Correct? So what they're asking us to do is to graph both of these functions. Now there's two different ways you guys can do this. The first way you guys can do this is graph the function, graph each function separately. So sometimes um, one way of doing that is just to graph x plus 3. But remember, x plus 3 is graph for all x. But let's just graph x plus 3 just the way I did it over here. So I go up 1, 2, 3, and then 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. So I go over 1, up 1, over 1, up 1, just like I did before, right? How I graphed it over there. Over 1, up 1, over 1, up 1, over 1, up 1. So it creates a nice little line. Would everybody agree with me? And then I can connect. Now, this graph is for g of x is for all x. That means all x values. I go to negative infinity on my x values all the way to positive infinity on my x values, correct? But my function, my piecewise function, is saying graph x plus 3, but only for x values that are less than negative 2. So let's look at right over here. Is x less than 2 at right here? No. Is x less than 2 here? x is only less than 2 right there. So the rest of this whole function that I just graphed is not a part of the function. I'm only graphing, ah, uh, I'm only graphing when x is less than negative 2. Now, it's less than negative 2, not greater, not equal to, so it's an open dot. Wait, What's up and down? The y axis is like the negative 2. No, that's for the x value, negative 2. X is negative 2 right there. Oh, okay, sorry. Right? Sorry, it's confusing. Right. So it's for all x values that are less than negative 2 on the x axis. So that's why I'm only graphing that function right there. Then I have this function over here. Now I need to graph negative 2x minus 3. Ah, man, I'm like losing everything. So now I have negative 2x minus 3, but um, I'm only graphing for x values that are greater than negative 2. So if I'm graphing this function, I know it has a y-intercept at negative 3, 1, 2, 3. Well, I'm just going to want to go to the left, right? I, I'm sorry. I want to figure out where, how far it's going to the left because I know the graph is going down 2 to the right, but up 2 to the left, up 2 to the left. And it's greater than or equal to, so it's a filled in dot. So if I say my domain, that dot filled it in, so my domain is from negative infinity to infinity. Whereas my range is negative infinity to how high did this graph go up? That was supposed to only be a minus 3. That was supposed to be at 1, right? And that is included, so it's a filled in dot. Yes? Because 1 is included. 1 is a 1. Value 1 on my range, right, is a part of the graph. Right? But 0 is not a part of the graph. Oh, I'm sorry. If it was open, it would not be a part of the graph. OK? Now. I think this where this makes all the sense.